The goal of Concept in Color is to build a strong understanding of human anatomy and color theory. Using this knowledge to illustrate more realistic looking creatures, with dynamic silhouettes, detailed features, and eye-catching color schemes. In the beginning of the week, we'll focus on human anatomy, specifically facial proportions. We'll dissect the head into quadrants, placing the eyes, ears, nose, and mouth correctly on the head. From there, we'll begin the process of designing a unique creature of your own design. These 2D drawings are made from the front and the profile to help you understand your creature's full design. This will also help you make important decisions like, what does your creature eat? Where does it live? And what's its story? These drawings will help you immensely if you plan on continuing the Concept Creature Design Program, Master Makeup Program, or the Effects Track. Midway through the week, we will shift our focus into color theory. We'll define your primary, secondary, and tertiary colors, plus go over the difference between hue, shade, tint, and tone. Using references, you'll design a color chart for your creature. And by the end of the week, you'll paint a pre-sculpted creature with the colors you selected. The knowledge acquired in this class will extend beyond special effects makeup and be applicable in storyboarding, concept art, and even portraiture. My favorite thing about teaching this class is seeing the results that come from just one week of working with me. I hope to see you there. All right, so for the Beauty High Fashion Program here at Cinema Makeup School, it is broken down into six weeks. For the first four weeks, we really start with the basics. This is perfect for somebody who has no idea what makeup is or even beauty in general. Setting up your station, what tools to use, what products to use for your kit, how to organize your kit. Maybe you don't even know what kind of products to use. Um, then we go into more detail with design and makeup. How to do a smoky eye, how to highlight contour, how to do a false eyelash application, that perfect winged out liner. And then it's definitely important to study the origins of makeup. We cover the 18th century, the 1920s and 30s, all the way up into the 90s. We cover on set terms, what a director does, what a producer does. My favorite, the last week, the high fashion week, advertising, editorial, avant-garde, music videos, and we test you guys as well. So you will be graded not only on your lecture and what you're learning as theory, but you're gonna be graded as practical as well. All right, so we're in week five. For Airbrush, we walk you through the anatomy first, really get you comfortable with your equipment, your gear, your gun, how to assemble it, take it apart, clean it, your hose, your compressor, and all the different components that come um, in Airbrush design. Uh, you learn how to do blending and gradients. You also learn how to do a little bit of character and animal creations. And there is a day focused on skull creations, which is one of my favorites because you learn how to do like the finest, really thin, fine line, precise work. Um, and then we grade you for airbrush as well. All right, we are wrapping up your experience here at the High Fashion Beauty Program. We're gonna teach you how to do hairstyling. Uh, we have an amazing kit that gives, gets you comfortable with all the tools that you're gonna need to practice a proper hairstyling uh, technique. So, for example, curling irons, blow dryers, hair clips, combs, brushes, products, hairsprays, all the different things that you're gonna need to design a hairstyle. Maybe you're getting somebody ready for their wedding or it's a red carpet look. What I love about being an instructor here at Cinema Makeup School is that I am personally a freelance salon stylist, so I bring you the experience in my classroom from my salon, from the studios, from fashion shows, from red carpets. Uh, so we really set you up for success because not only are you learning technique, guidelines, uh, the history of fashion, but you're learning how to be a true professional on set, which is gonna set you apart from the other hair and makeup artists on set. Character class is an essential class for anyone wanting to do on-set makeup for film and television. It's a four-week class, 30 hours per week, that covers all the essential out-of-the-kit techniques that you'd be using on a day-to-day -day basis with the emphasis on realism. In week one, we'll learn old age makeup and how to take an actor to 20 to 30 years beyond their real age. We'll be using techniques like highlight and shadow, alcohol colors, and my all-time favorite, stretch and stipple to create 3D wrinkles for a very realistic effect. In week two, we'll be creating various types of facial hair. We'll use hand-laid techniques to create mustaches, 
sideburns, goatees, and full beards. We'll also cover beard shadow and a chopped hair technique for a five-day growth. Week three is bald caps. In this week, we'll create our own latex bald caps, learn how to apply and paint them, blend the edges, and then we'll move into vinyl or plastic bald caps. Applying a bald cap is something that every makeup artist will eventually need to do in their career. So learning how to do this properly is something you want to perfect. Week four is the final week of the class. It's also the most fun. This is the week where we get bloody because we're gonna be doing injury simulations. We'll do bruises, cuts, bullet holes, scars, scabs, exit wounds, and burns of every stage. But we're gonna end the week with your final exam, and that is putting everything you learned in four weeks together to create a finished, realistic, believable character makeup. Character makeup, along with clean beauty, is really the bread and butter of the makeup industry. It's literally what you're gonna be doing every day on set. So in my opinion, character makeup is actually one of the most important classes you can take at Cinema Makeup School. Hi, my name is Jake Corrick, and I'm an instructor here at Cinema Makeup School. Today we're going to talk about the Creature Concept Design Program. This program is designed to push you creatively in terms of the way you think about creating your very own creatures and characters. Within these courses, you will learn all the skills necessary to create a realism-based idea, to make a creature that feels like it could exist in the world using various anatomies and design strategies. This program consists of three main courses. There's digital effects, creature maquette sculpture, and ZBrush. In digital effects, you will learn how to design and conceptualize your ideas using Photoshop. In creature maquette sculpture, you will learn to sculpt in clay and realize your ideas in a 3D space. In ZBrush, you will learn the industry standard tool for digital sculpture and 3D modeling using that world to create your very own creature concepts and characters. This program will teach you to use anatomy, biology, and all sorts of different tools to make your creatures feel grounded in realism. Once you've completed the Creature Concept Design Program, you will have all the tools necessary to go forward into the film and TV, gaming, collectibles, all sorts of industries that require designs. Prosthetics is a four-week course, 30 hours per week, that covers all types of translucent prosthetics. You start this class with life casting, where all the students will actually get their faces cast to create a stone copy of their face. It's on this life cast where you'll sculpt and reshape your partner's face into what one might describe as a disguise makeup, using small, subtle, realistic silicone prosthetics. You'll learn to float and transfer these small sculptures onto new bases, which would be called snaps. It's on these snaps where you will finish your sculptures, blend your edges, and finish all your texturing. Next, we'll mold them with a urethane casting material that's very hard, very accurate, and reproduces all the detail. In these new urethane molds is where you'll be running your silicone prosthetics. You'll create really fine edges that blend believably into the skin, and they'll be translucent with a tint of the model's skin tone, so very little paint is actually needed to make these look believable. We'll also cover making gelatin appliances, as well as the Oscar-winning technology of prosade transfers. By the end of this class, you'll not only know how to sculpt, mold, and run all these prosthetics, but also how to apply them and blend them believably into your model's skin. As a recap, you'll learn how to do life casting, sculpting, making molds, running your silicone prosthetics. You'll learn how to make gelatin, 
and apply the gelatin prosthetics, as well as sculpting, molding, and running prosthetic transfers. Since many of our graduates are eventually thinking of working in a creature shop or a makeup effects lab, learning all these techniques becomes essential. Also, learning not only the materials, but how to safely use them is something that you're going to want to do if you're going to be working in a creature shop. Special Effects class is a four-week, 30-hour-per-week class that builds on the techniques you learn in prosthetics class. In this class, however, we're going to be doing a full face and neck, fantasy character, or creature makeup using foam latex prosthetics. You'll start by taking your life cast from prosthetics and building onto it. We're going to be extending it and correcting any undercuts, and then we're going to make a stone copy, and that's when we start sculpting. You'll need to submit a design to your instructor for approval, but once approved, you're going to start sculpting this full face and neck makeup. During the sculpting portion, you'll learn how to create shapes and forms and simulate anatomy underneath the skin. When your sculpture is completed, we'll then cut and float these pieces off onto a new bust where you'll then finish the edges, finish the skin texture, and then finally mold it. The molds we're gonna make in this class are gonna be of UltraCal 30, also known as a stone mold. When your molds are completed, you'll then learn how to mix, measure, and run foam latex, and how to bake it out so that you'll have fluffy, soft foam latex prosthetics. Next comes what I consider to be one of the most important parts of the class, painting. You'll pre-paint your foam pieces with Pax Paint and alcohol colors, You'll take a good few days to work out your paint job and get it ready for your application. In the third week of class, you'll also learn to create dentures. You'll do dental impressions, you'll sculpt, you'll mold, and then run them in dental acrylic. You'll then paint and polish and finish them and make them ready for your creature makeup. Finally, you're gonna put everything together, everything you learned in this class, and then apply your finished creature. We'll also learn to break down a script as it pertains to special makeup effects and prosthetics and how to do a budget so that you can, well, basically learn how to make money with all these techniques you're learning. If the master makeup program is what you're taking, special effects will be the final class in that. However, if you're going for effects track or complete track, this will just lead you right into advanced lab. As I mentioned, in this class, you're building on what you learned in prosthetics class but you're also really preparing yourself for the possibility of a career working in a makeup effects lab or creature shop. Advanced Beauty Theory is a continuation for students who have completed the High Fashion Beauty program and are looking to challenge themselves. It's a three-week course. We have two weeks of makeup, one week of airbrush. In week one of Advanced Beauty Theory, we cover the basics. We go over how to start building networks, contacts, how to prepare for things that a real artist would encounter in the real world. We also talk about building a website, your social media, and how to deal with clients and building up clientele as a professional working makeup artist. In week one, we discuss working on runway shows, what it's like to work under key makeup artists, how to work under pressure in a timed exercise challenge. In week one, we also have a drag day. So we learn how to block eyebrows, we learn the history of drag makeup, and how to execute using different techniques that were designed for theatrical makeups. Then we learn how to do avant-garde makeup, how to put together a creative makeup from start to finish, from finding inspiration to executing the actual application, sometimes using embellishments, but creating a beautiful piece of art. In week two, students will continue to practice their airbrush techniques and are, will be introduced to a dual action airbrush. They'll learn how to use UV paints in their airbrush application and create reptilian effects. You'll end the week with the transformation photo shoot where you will take your model from looking natural and clean to giving them an edgy, tatted up look. 
In week three, the students will be challenged with some great opportunities. We talk about how to create custom red carpet makeup looks for anybody that sits in your chair. We discuss working on different skin tones, different ethnicities, different ages, and different skin textures. So we cover all of the bases to make each artist feel confident in their skills when they leave this class. We also push ourselves by doing a black and white photo shoot. That day we discuss the importance of lighting with photography and how important it is for a makeup artist. For your final, you'll be responsible for creating two editorial looks that are cohesive with the rest of the class. You'll be in charge of your model's hair, makeup, and styling. This will be a hands-on experience to feel what it's really like to be in a photo shoot, working side by side with a photographer and a team. By the end of week three, you should be confident in yourself, not only in your artistry, but as a professional makeup artist. Those who take this course will push themselves as artists. They'll gain experience and they'll build their portfolio. If you're looking for a future in editorial, fashion, or beauty makeup, then Advanced Beauty Theory is the class for you. The objective of ALT is for students to create a realistic severed head of themselves made from silicone. In the first week, students will make casts of each other. The process will produce a perfect 3D impression of their likeness. Once complete, you'll pour clay into the mold and have a sculptable copy of your head. This is where some students like to creatively incorporate injuries related to their cause of death. In week two, you'll start molding your clay sculpture and using epoxy resin syntactic dough, and fiberglass. Once complete, you'll clean clay from the mold and prepare your station for the silicone pour. During week three, we'll demonstrate how to tint and pour silicone and flex foam into your head molds. After the silicone is set, we'll demold and begin patching and seaming. The rest of the week will be spent painting your head by making silicone paint to achieve a realistic look using both an airbrush and hand-painted techniques. Finally, in the last week, you'll start hair punching. Eyebrows, eyelashes, hairlines, and sideburns will all be inserted one hair at a time. When you're not punching, you'll be painting and placing your eyes and teeth into the head. If you're interested in working in a lab, this class is essential. It will introduce you to new materials and molding techniques, and you'll walk away with a practical and impressive portfolio piece. As the Chief Academic Officer of Cinema Makeup School, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the classroom.